Hey, this is JC and welcome to the Lego Ideas Project Gastro Alley. This is a food street that celebrates the international cultural diversity of Lego fans from all over the world. It is highly detailed and features four street food stalls that are each very distinct in offerings, look and build techniques. To give Gastro Alley visual texture and variety, there are many different interesting elements throughout the build, including a tree at one corner of the base plate with an overflowing rubbish bin at the foot of it. There's a fully tiled green picnic table and benches with white metal frames. On the opposite corner of the set, there's a European style lamppost with street sign as well as a realistic gas pipe with meter on the ground. The back of the build is also visually interesting due to the detailed back design of the food stalls and even has a cat ready to pounce on a large rat rummaging through the rubbish. The build is modular in nature in that you can easily remove the individual stalls as they are attached to the base plate with jumper plates. The base plate measures 32 by 16 studs and is detailed to look like a distressed or well-worn road with potholes, broken surfaces and cobblestone fillings. The four stalls are each original in design and include a Turkish kebab stall, Italian pizza stand, tiki fruit juice bar and a Japanese ramen stall. The ramen stall has an almost Ninjago feel to it. It is distinctively Asian and features an innovative brick-built 3D sign that includes a giant pair of chopsticks holding up a bunch of noodles. The stall includes inbuilt drawer storage space, a stove top, Japanese wine, seasoning and a bowl of noodles. The Tiki Juice Bar is Polynesian inspired in design and it features a slanting roof covered with palm leaves. The vertical supports simulate palm tree trunks and the entire build is made of different shades of brown and tan parts. There are fruit displays and decorations all around the stall as well as a large realistic blender. The pizza stand bears the iconic colours of the Italian flag in the roof and has a pizza preparation counter with pizza ingredients. The main feature of the stall is a large wood pizza oven. The oven has a wood fire at the base a grill for a decorated pizza towel and an oven hood that leads exhaust out of the back of the stand. The kebab stall is designed to look like a real-life portable stainless steel stall complete with wheels and support stand. There's a tasty slab of meat hanging from a skewer in a heating lamp above a large grill with a splash tray. Two prepared kebabs rest on a stand by the side with a bottle of hot sauce and a stack of napkins in the front. There are a total of 8 minifigs with the set, 4 stall vendors and 4 customers. The stall owners include the ramen seller, juice bar vendor, pizza chef and kebab stall owner. The 4 customers include a man in a business suit with a newspaper in hand, a boy with a slice of pizza on a napkin, a woman in office attire with a phone on a selfie stick and a lady in casual clothes and a notepad on hand. There is a storyline that accompanies the set. The four food stalls are vying for the coveted Bricklin Star Award, a play on the real-life Michelin star. The Bricklin Star is the highest honour that a food establishment can receive in the Lego world. One of the four customers is a mystery food reviewer and will determine which stall will get the Brooklyn Star. Who do you think is the mystery food reviewer? The actual Brooklyn Star Award is on the table. It comprises of a decorated towel with a brick in a star, so it is very fitting. It is built with a bracket piece and a transparent plate and towel. There is another modular element to the set. While Gastro Alley works perfectly as a standalone display set, it was designed to be easily integrated into any LEGO City, theme park or carnival. There are different elements on the base plate that can be easily repositioned and orientated so that you can logically place the food street between two modular buildings with its short side facing out. You can of course put the food street set in lengthwise between two modulars as well. Gastro Alley also fits perfectly as a corner display next to a modular building in a Lego city. If you like this mock, 
and would like to see this as an official LEGO set, please vote for it on the LEGO Ideas website. Just follow the link in the description or follow the link at the top right of the screen to be directed to the web page. You will need to register a LEGO account in order to vote as well as answer a short multiple choice survey regarding your thoughts on the set. Once you vote, please leave a comment on the Gastro Alley project page as it will encourage others to vote for the set as well. Finally, share the Gastro Alley project page on your social media channels and get all your friends and family to vote as well. The set requires 10,000 votes in order to be considered by LEGO to go into production, so it really needs a lot of support. The final version of this food street would not have been possible without all the feedback, comments and suggestions made by a wide range of people from all over the world. Please check out the description to check out the list of credits. Thanks in advance for voting and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to get updates on Gastro Alley and my other LEGO City builds. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.